Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. Today let's solve reverse nodes in a K group. Now this is a hard problem, but it's actually not as hard as you might think. So we're given one linked list and we want to reverse the nodes of that linked list K at a time and then return the output. So what do they actually mean when they say K at a time? So in the example that we're going to look at, let's say K is two. We basically take this input, right? We see there's five nodes. We want to look at each group of size K. So each group of size two, this is one group, this is one group, and the last group doesn't even have K elements. And what we want to do to each group, so let's look at the first group, we just want to reverse it. So now this has been reversed, and we also want it to still be a part of this entire linked list. So what we have to do is for this one, we have to set its next pointer over here. And in the output, you can see that this group is reversed. Now we do the same thing with the second group. So four's next is actually going to be three. Now we've reversed this and in the output, it's also reversed. Now they tell us if we have a special group, right? Like the last group doesn't even have K elements. So if it's not a multiple of K, then it should just remain as it is. So we really don't have to make any changes to this. It remains the exact same. Now, one thing to notice is reversing the groups is pretty easy, but we need to do a little more than just that, right? See, one's next pointer is initially at two, but at the end, it's pointing at four. So really, we have to make this jump. So that's where the difficulty comes from, and that's what I'm going to explain. Once we've reversed these groups, then we actually have to put them together. So like most linked list problems, I'm just going to tell you from the start this time that we are going to need a dummy node because we're potentially modifying the head of the list, right? Like first, this is the head, but at the end, this is going to be the head. I don't want to deal with edge cases and stuff. So just having a dummy node here helps us a lot. So we have K equals two. I want to reverse the first group. How do I do that? Let's say we start here. All I have to do is count by K. So one, two. So this is the kth node. So now starting from here, we're gonna start reversing. So the next pointer of one is gonna be reversed, but this is the dummy node, so I don't really care about it. So I'm actually gonna set this equal, let's say to null for now. Next, I'm gonna move to the next node, which happens to be our kth node. I'm going to say its next pointer is also going to be reversed. Now it's set to one, right? The previous node. Now we move to the next node, but we know we just passed our kth node. So we're not reversing this yet. We're going to reverse it with its own group. Right now we're only reversing this group. So we're finished. So now if you look at what we just did, we took this portion reversed that group right now we have this and we didn't really touch this so it stayed the same but look what we just did we cut our linked list in half it's not even connected anymore we reversed the first group which is what we wanted but we didn't want to split them so instead of setting this one to null we can set it to what the last what our where our condition would stop, right? This is where our condition is going to stop. So the node right after K is where we're going to set the next pointer of this. Also, we don't want to forget that our, our dummy node over here should point at the first node. So great, we've done the first group. Now we want to move to the next group. So don't forget K equals two. So this is our first node. This is our second node. So this happens to be the kth node. So again, we're going to take this pointer and reverse it. And in the first example, I showed you that it's going to be set to null. 
but really we know it's going to be set to k dot next right k dot next we know that this is k so k dot next is over here so after i cross out the next pointer i'm going to move it over here next we want to reverse the link of four so we can remove this pointer and reverse it we know that this is the previous node and the last thing remember don't forget before we took our dummy pointer and then set it to two instead of one. But right now we're gonna take one's next pointer and instead set it to four rather than three because we're reversing this group. So one.next is gonna be at four. So these pointers can get complicated and can definitely get messy even when you're looking at a picture. So let's redraw it. So this is what our linked list looks like now. We still have our dummy node over here. We reversed the first group. We reversed the second group. Let's look at the third group. So we're starting here. This is one. Let's get the kth node, okay? We want the second node. We try here. This is null, right? So the kth node doesn't even exist. So this group is too small. So we're finished. We don't have to do anything anymore. And so notice we got two, one, four, three, five. When you go back here, that's exactly what we have in the output. Two, one, four, three, and five. So now let's actually look at the code. We want a dummy node to be initialized at the beginning so we're going to give it a default value zero and the next pointer is going to be set to our head of the linked list i'm also going to have a pointer i'm going to call the group previous which i'm going to initially set to dummy but the reason we have this is if we have a group so if our group was two and three and we want to reverse it the output would look like this right so we took this group and reversed it. To do that, we need to have a pointer of one node right before the start of our group. So we can then say one dot next is three. So we're always gonna save one node right before our group. Now we're just gonna start looping. I'm just gonna say while true because I'm lazy. So we're gonna need to get the kth node so we know how long or how big our group is, how, like what exactly the group is we're trying to reverse. So I'm gonna write a helper function to do that, just called get kth. And we're just gonna pass in two parameters, the current node and the, what the value k is. So starting at cur, we're gonna increment, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna shift k times and then return that kth node. So while cur is not at the end and k is greater than zero, we're gonna update current and decrement k. Then at the end, we can return the kth node that we want to. So now I'm gonna call that helper function get kth. And what's the start that we're gonna pass in? We're gonna pass in the group previous because the group previous is not a part of our group. And let's store this in kth. But what if the kth node doesn't even exist? What does that mean? That means we've gotten to the last group in our linked list and it's not big enough for us to reverse it. So we can stop then. So we can say if not kth, if it's null, then terminate. So break out of the loop. So that's why we have a true here and that's gonna be the condition that breaks us out. So similar to how we have, we always keep track of one node before the start of our group, let's keep track of a node right after our group. So if this is the kth node, let's just get kth.next and store that in group.next. So one node right after our group. So now we can start actually reversing, right? Reversing the group and we can use two pointers to do that. If you've solved the, the leak code easy problem, reverse a linked list, you probably know how to do this. I'm gonna set previous to null and current group previous dot next because this is the first node in our group. But there's just one problem with this, remember? If we have previous initially set to null, we're gonna end up splitting our linked lists. 
and we don't want to have multiple linked lists. So instead of this being null, in reality, it's going to be kth.next. So the rest of this is basically just reverse a linked list. So while current does not reach the end, in this case, the end is the end is group dot next. And now we're just reversing. So I'm going to put it in a temporary variable current dot next. We're going to update current dot next, set it to previous. Previous is going to be set to current and then current is gonna be shifted by one, which is stored in our temporary variable. So remember how kth was the last node in our group? Now we want it to be the first node in our group. And what we can do is say group previous. So one node before the start of our group dot next is now gonna be kth. So what we're doing is putting kth at the beginning of this group. But we also want to update group previous for the next iteration of our loop, right? When we come back around, we want uh, th this node to be where it should be. We want this pointer to be where it should be. And to do that, what we can do is actually have, a, uh, have another temporary variable. So in that, we're going to store our group previous.next before we end up updating it. And what this Currently, what this initially stores is the first node in our group. Remember, kth was the last node in our group. This is the first node in our group. And so we want to set this equal to that because this started as the first node in our group, but now it's going to be the last node. And that's what we want this to be set to. So I, I think probably this is the most complicated part of the problem. And pointers in general are really kind of annoying. Even drawing a picture is kind of annoying because you have to cross out a bunch of pointers. But right now, all we need to do is return the new head of the linked list, which is going to be dummy.next. So this is the final code. So it does work pretty well. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot. And I'll hopefully see you pretty soon.